perfect box joints on a little 3040 CNC with a round 1 8 inch end mill. Easy to do. This is how we do it. For our perfect joints, perfect box joints on the CNC, this is very easy to do. Just made a shape here, did our square cutouts, did a difference command, and erased the inside box. Save this as an SVG, opened it up in JS Cut, and set up our tool pads. Once we go to JS Cut, we can set up our tool paths. We've just got two files. This has a pocket going around the boxes, and the other file is just the boxes cut out with the spaces in between. And the trick to making this work is having your wood piece fit inside of here. So the wood piece that's actually on the CNC is narrower than this. So we get nice crisp edges. This is a little jig I put together to make box joints on a 3040 CNC. It's real simple. We've got some square stock here and a bolt, bolt on either side. I drilled holes and then put threads in there with a little tap. So this goes into about here. And basically here's my spacer block. Keep this even across the whole way. This does not need to be super tight, just a little bit of tension. This isn't going anywhere. CNC will come over here and with the mod for the DeWalt, the spindle will actually, or the end, end mill will actually come out to about, about here. So we've got space to cut out clean box tail joints. And we won't have any rounded edges, this will be nice and sharp. Kind of see how far over the actual end mill can go. We've got a little bit more space too. This router mod has been fantastic. I can really increase the speed because the router is a lot stronger than the spindle that came with it. And we've got some overhang on the edge for things like this. As far as running eighth inch end mills and Dremel sized cutters inside of a regular quarter inch router. It's real simple. There's an adapter that you can buy online. I bought this one for about $10 on eBay and it simply reduces the quarter inch collet down to a 1 8 inch holder. And it works really really well. It's kind of like turning your router into a super Dremel. It opens up a lot of possibilities too. There are our box joints. Let's clean this up and put in the other side and cut those out. At 125 inches per minute, this is a real fast cut. So around eight or nine minutes to cut these out. Got a real nice tight fit for these box joints. So we'll tap this in and see how snug that fits. Super, super tight box joint. There's no glue in here. And this is hard to pry apart. This is just pine. I was testing a few different pieces and that is a snug, snug fit. So a little sanding to smooth that out, or an adjustment in the tool paths to make this just a little bit deeper for the cut, and these would be flush. But they came out pretty good. Easy to do. Thanks very much for taking a look.